how can we find a Jordan canonical form of a matrix? The answer lies in the cycles of generalized eigenvectors. If you have those cycles for a matrix A, you can immediately write down the Jordan canonical form of this matrix A. And in this video, you will learn how you can do this. So suppose first that A has one cycle of generalized eigenvectors. So an easy case. So you have some cycle. Um, uh, from V1 up to Vn, V1, V2 up to Vn. And now we note, okay, these are all independent, so this will be a basis of Rn. Then we can put those generalized eigenvectors in the matrix P, just as what you would do for di diagonalization. Uh, this P is invertible, of course, because the uh, V1 up to Vn are independent. And then we have the theorem, we can compute M equals P inverse A times P, And that will be the Jordan canonical form of A. So this P inverse times A times P will give you the lambdas on the diagonal and the ones above. So there you are. So if you have uh, one cycle of generalized eigenvectors, boom, there you have your Jordan canonical form by putting them in the matrix P and computing P inverse AP. And proof of this, uh, of course, this resembles a lot the normal diagonalization. Proof goes exactly along the lines of diagonalization, we will do the uh, proof in a separate video. So now, what if you have more cycles? Suppose you have k cycles of length pk, so they can be of same eigenvalues or of different eigenvalues, that doesn't matter. So you have now multiple cycles of length pk. So then you can form your basis. Uh, first, uh, uh, generalized eigenvectors belong to the first cycle, so v1 up to vp1. And then the generalized eigenvectors belong to the second cycle, and so on and so forth, if you, until you have your uh, generalized eigenvectors belonging to the kth cycle. And those all together, they are uh, independent. Uh, so together they form a base of Rn. And you just put all of them in a big matrix P, uh, just as we did before. And Second theorem, then the P inverse times A times P uh, is the Jordan canonical form of A. And every cycle, so now you have multiple cycles, so every cycle of length Pi corresponds to a, a Jordan block, Pi times Pi a Jordan block. So you get uh, then a matrix M consisting of K Jordan blocks instead of one Jordan blocks. So as soon as you have your generalized eigenvectors, As soon as you have all your cycles belonging to your lambdas, you're basically done. You just plug your uh, generalized eigenvectors in your matrix P, there you have your P, and then your uh, Jordan form just consists of all the Jordan blocks.